summer showstopper. Phil Vicker is making a pavlova. Yes. We're excited. Thanks, Phil. There you go. Oh, you're on. Yeah! <laughs> I know, you can barely here tell with us sometimes. Here it is, look, this little beauty here. Now, Pavlova, I love my mummy with kids. Now, I very, well, a few years ago, I went to Australia to, to a restaurant called Rockpool in Sydney. Very famous chef called Neil Perry, Australian chef, used to make the best Pavlova in the world. And I hate it in his restaurant, it was this deep. It was amazing. Really? But there's a few things to get right on it. And bear in mind, when you make a meringue like normal, a lot of people say it's a pavlo. It's not, it's a meringue. They're very different things. A, a, pav a meringue normally is where your egg whites, here, as you are, it, double the amount of sugar to make a, a, a meringue. When you make a pavlo, you use a lot less sugar because you want a mousse. You don't want a heavy, right. chewy meringue. You want a light mousse. So on the order there, how light is that? That's literally Super light. So the light. centre. Super so light. very easy. In here. Egg whites. Oh. So you start your egg whites off. Okay, these are room temperature. Okay, never whisk it more than about three quarters speed, otherwise the meringue becomes too tight. And if they're cold there, does that make a difference then? No, room temperature makes those a soft and meringue. Right. Okay, and you never whisk it more than, uh, as I say, room three quarters speed. Do put a pinch of cream of tartar or squeeze of lemon juice into there, and that just stops the meringue breaking. Now, if you whisk around too fast at this stage, it, it will become water and solids very, very quickly. Really? Cream of tartar, as you'll see, if I turn that up, you'll see it's, it's starting to foam, but it's not breaking. Okay, now it just helps with the texture. Back to three quarter speed, and you whisk that. If I just start this off now, a bit faster than we'd go normally, just to show you. Once you get to that stage there, you rein in 250 grams of sugar, really? okay? Should be 400 grams if you're making ranks, 250. Start it off and just put that sugar in like that and leave that at that speed. Don't go fast, leave it. Right, okay, after about five to six minutes, I'll show you this one. This is what you end up with. Look at the shine on look this ring. Beautiful, isn't it? Look at that shine. Lovely piece. And look how soft that is. If I do that, it's what you call a teardrop. See that? It's not rock hard. So yeah. Nice. Okay, so when you put it in the oven, it'll move slightly, but it won't go like concrete. It's really important. Then I add vinegar. Really? So that's vanilla and then vinegar. How come? Into there. That just cuts the, 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 the sugary, the, the, sorry, the, the, the sweetness of it, but also adds to the texture because it tightens the protein, right. which is the egg white. And then you add a little bit of corn flour or arrowroot. That goes on top as well, that's a starch, mm -hmm. and that just holds the whole thing together as tightly as it goes in the oven. Oh, lush. And you just want to fold that in nice and gently. Don't go mad, because you spent all that time putting the air in. Yeah. You'll see you get how soft that meringue is. Look at that's what we're look after. Look at that. Mm. It's not rock hard, it's not like concrete. You've got a lovely look at that. Beautiful soft meringue. Now over here, a piece of bake, baking parchment that I put underneath. So here, I put the uh, marks it with a pencil or a pen. Yeah. Pay attention, Alison. We'll answer right. questions in a minute. <laughs> no, it makes it like I was just asking like with children. if the hard bit is the meringue. I'll be back at school, isn't it? <laughs> sorry, sorry. <laughs> I was just testing. Is that the meringue there? That's yeah. the meringue, the hard bit. Yeah. <laughs> sorry. So what you do is make the ring here, like that, and then you pour the meringue in right into the centre. It's up to you what shape you do. I'm just mucking about here. But what I tend to do is put all the meringue into the centre, like that. And then well, you would just spread that to the roughly to the is edge. Is that of... the meringue? Yeah, that's the meringue. What I'll, you I'll be in there. testing you in a minute, don't worry. So that goes hard, does it? And, hang on, just a minute. So what you do is you spread that around like this. See that? Go to the edge. You want a slight I've dimple on the inside. Before. Okay, like that. Just a little bit more time. See that there? Mm -hmm. Oven. 120 degrees, right? For one hour and one hour and 15 minutes. An hour? Yeah. You then turn the oven off and leave it in there time, to cool down. Don't take it out, let it cool in the oven. Yeah. They end up this one here. So this is what we made earlier. This one oh, made. That's, oh, that's the meringue. That's the meringue. Oh, so that's how it goes hard. <laughs> yes. In the oven. Now, what I've added to that also it? is I'll show you these here. So here I've got um, uh, freeze-dried raspberries. Now you can buy them in powder form. Cake decorating shops are online. You can add different flavours: blackcurrant, raspberry, strawberry to the meringue. I put some in there as well. Oh, lovely. But I just have a little smell of that because that just smell of, of raspberries, which is just. Oh yeah, that's nice. Uh, now, the wow. powders, the blackcurrant powder looks great because you can swirl it through. Now, here is the filling. A little bit of double cream. Oh, <laughs> okay. no, no. Just <laughs> a little. Right. I'm not, I can't have how much is there, it's quite a lot. Um, now, the golden rule about, um, about double cream is you whisk it until it stays nice and shiny. If you whisk it, over whisk it, you'll go dull. Don't whisk it. If you carry on, it'll turn to butter. If you over whip it, put a little bit of milk on it, put it back in the fridge, leave it for 10 minutes and fold it through and it will come back. Okay. The filling is going to be a little bit more sugar, 
Just into a little there. bit. Just, no, no, it depends on the, the, how, you, how um, sweet your fruit is. Yeah. I've always tasted those. In there you go. Raspberries or passion fruit. Vanilla. Yeah. Again, oh, yes. Look at on that. top of that. And then I'm just going to fold this through. Well, I think I might do put that powder as well. Look. It's not too sweet, though. No, it's not too sweet. That's the whole thing. Just, there is a bit of cream, I must admit. So we will swirl this through. Don't get too mad. It's pretty much about there's what you want. So the fruit is starting to break up. And then you dollop this on top of here. Oh, on is top a, of your meringue. Is this meringue. similar to an eaten mess? It is, but eaten mess is basically broken up. And oh, you mix it all okay. together. And, uh, but you do use meringue, you don't use a pavlova. But it's exactly the same sort of thing. It is. Oh, pretty, okay. pretty much on, on, the, on the actual textures. Oh, it's not... lovely. So, that on there. Now, a little bit of a twist here. I picked these roses out of my garden this morning. Oh, they're lovely. So okay. exciting, this. Golden rule, when you're making a rose petal sauce, you always pick the roses after midday and they have time for perfume to come back <coughs> so the tube hasn't washed it off. Great little tip here. This is rose water, which I add to it as well. Oh, that's nice, isn't See? it? So that just helps it along a little bit. Rose water, lemon juice, a little touch of water on there. And then with that, on these little blenders, you want to bit blitz this down into a puree. So just a... Any rose you can do this with. Any rose. Provided it hasn't been sprayed with weed killer. OK. Anyway, blitz that down and let this one here. Oh, look at that. Oh, this is what I want to make slightly earlier. Let me get my spoon. I can just show you this. Look at the colour. It's so pretty. Look at that colour. That... So I'll just give that a bit Beautiful. of a stir up and you can see that there. And then what you do is you put the rose water all over the Oh, top. my goodness. Look at that. Oh, there as well. That will go into the meringue. If you want to add a few more raspberries on top of that yes. as well, then it oh, goes. Phil, it is, is a party piece. Amazing. Put it in the middle. Few rose petals on top of there. There you go. That's just for you, Al. I mean, no doubt you'll finish out in about ten minutes. But there you go. It's a season for the rice. It isn't? tastes absolutely delicious. There it is. Look at that. Really so, nice. Unbelievable. But the whole point is, it's it's a mousse. It's not, it's not a hard meringue. That's the biggest mistake people make. That it's like too crunchy, too caramelly. It's like it's eating toffee. You don't want that. Yeah, yeah. Lovely, yeah. lovely mousse. If I just it's... break that off, there, you'll just. Oh, have a taste of that. Oh, so it's amazing. Can go like this. Really lovely. Mm. Thanks, Phil. Thanks, Phil. That's what a day. <laughs> Great day for uh, Phil. For all these recipe details and uh, more delicious ideas from our chefs, just head to the This Morning app. Yeah.